Well, this is Glen from Willingall Paranormal, and the date is the 24th of November 2013. And the time is um, 10.40 p.m. and we're over Ruffwood. And this is a test to give you an idea on the coverage of the illuminator. Can you point it down the end of that path? Can you see down the end of that path? Mm-hmm. So what I'm going to do now, we've got the camera running, Right. So, okay, the camera's running now. There's the illuminator. Can you see? Can you take some photos? Right. See if it gets screeny. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to go walk down the end of that path to that tree and I'm going to count off how many yards it is all right okay. starting from the camp so one two three It's 30 yards to this tree here. Right. Can you still see me on the camera? Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah. Really clearly? Yeah. Right, that's 30 yards. Okay. Yeah. 30 steps. 30 yards. Go a bit deeper. Uh, a, a few more. A few more. Huh? A few more. Yeah. That's 40. Just make a comment on the camera now, say 40 steps. 40 steps so far. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do another 10. Yeah. You still see me? Yeah. That's 50. 50 yards. 50 steps. 50 steps. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You still see me? Yeah. That's 50. 50 yards. 50 steps. 50 steps. Yeah. Okay, so that was thirty, forty, and fifty yards in that direction okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take it to a field which is just over there and we'll get an idea on the coverage of the field but what I'm going to do leave the camera running Daniel okay um, have you, you ain't got your illuminator on have you? no I don't know. is that better? yeah you can see me now I can see you anyway but it's a Okay, alright, well what I'm going to do now, if you can just watch what I'm going to do. Okay, there's a clip here. Right, Scott's going to grab the tripod, and I'm going to take the unit. So if you want to use it as a portable unit off the tripod, you just undo the clip, like that. Mount the battery on your shoulder, and now you can see through the viewfinder. Okay, like that, can you see? And you can use it as a portable camera now. Okay, so that was 30, 40 and 50 yards in that direction. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it to a field which is just over there and we'll get an idea on the coverage of the field. But what I want to do, leave the camera running, Daniel. Okay. Um, have you, you ain't got your illuminator on, have you? No. Hang on then, just give me one sec. Is that better? Yeah. You can see me now. I could see you anyway, but it's, a, it's okay. clearer. All right, well, what I'm going to do now, if you can just watch what I'm going to do. Okay, there's a clip here. Right, Scott's going to grab the tripod, and I'm going to take the unit. So if you want to use it as a portable unit off the tripod, you just undo the clip, like that. Mount the battery on your shoulder, and now you can see through the viewfinder. Okay, like that. Can you see? Yeah. And you can use it as a portable hey. camera now. Yeah. And you can use it as a portable camera now. So if I'll get my torch and just make sure. Right. So you can use your torch with the IR light. Right, because it doesn't see the, the, the torch light. So if I wanted to walk through the woods with it mounted on my shoulder, I can do that. And I can pan it about, walk around. Okay. This is obviously just to prove to people that there's no cables or anything. Okay. So... I'm going to fold the tripod up and if Scott can grab the tripod and then we'll go up to the next follow the next path which I think is that way to the field ok so this is rough wood which is a place that we've investigated a few times I'm going to fold the tripod up Scott can grab the tripod and then we'll go up to the next follow the next path which I think is that way to the field after you so this is rough wood this is a place that we've investigated a few times we've had some good results here and there's a cleaving here Scott and Daniel. So there's Scott and Daniel. Obviously this just gives you an idea on the coverage. I mean this field's as big as a it's as big as a football pitch. So I wouldn't expect it to uh, fully illuminate the field but it does give you an idea. where you can go with it and what you can do
Yeah, there's a there is a bench over there. You can see me on on here now. Mm -hmm. So I'll count them off again. All right. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Thirty. That's thirty. Thirty. Okay. Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah. Pretty clear? Yeah. What am I doing? Waving your arms left and right. That's thirty. Yeah. You see me? Yeah. What do you mean? Waving your arms again. You see me? Yeah. That's 40. That's 50. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Waving your arms. We go to sixty. Okay. That's sixty. Yeah. Sixty. Can you see me? Yeah. What am I doing? Waving your arms. Cartel. I can see you, but I can't see you waving your arms or anything. Okay. So, the effective range, really, in an environment like this, is about 50 seconds. Okay, so, the effective range, really, in an environment like this, is about 50 steps. It tends, it drops off a bit at 60. Okay, mm. obviously, it was better in an enclosed environment like on the footpath. Because um, obviously the illumination bounces off the, the trees and everything, it's, it's a more enclosed thing. But you get the idea of the sort of coverage that you can expect to get with these illuminators. God, it's cold. <sighs> oh, my hands are numb. Um, I'll say this. It's about the size of a football pitch, ain't it, this? You know. About, about that, so, yeah. I mean, I was over halfway, I would say. I don't know how big a football, how big's a football pitch? It's 90 yards. 90 yards? Yeah. So, well, I did 50. And we could, you know, you could still see me okay. You could see you fine at 50. Could you? Yeah, you can see you fine at 60, just not much of the arm movements, so really. I was waving that arm, mm. my right arm. Okay, so. That's the field test for the portable illuminator and the time now is it's 5 to 11 on the 24th of November 2013 so we will be testing <coughs> with different illuminators that are out there 
just to see what sort of uh, distance and spread we can get out of it. Um, there you go, successful test. Okay then guys, mm. we go home. Yep. We'll get warm. <laughs> Cheers.